Hey everybody, welcome to my driveway and my front yard. So today we're going to take a look at my vehicle and um, what I use in my vehicle to keep it prepared for everyday emergencies. So the very first thing I want to talk about is vehicle maintenance. So are you properly maintaining your vehicle? It doesn't matter if you take it to the dealership regularly and um, do the recommended services or if you do that yourself. But it is important to make sure that your vehicle is properly maintained. Are you using the proper fuel, the proper oil? Do you have enough oil in it? Are you regularly topping off your fluids? Are your brakes and rotors good? Have you checked your spare tire? Does your spare tire have air in it? Are you looking at all the hydraulic fluids that go in your car? At the very least, uh, even if you're not into working on your own car, you should know how to uh, check all those fluids specifically to your car. Um, your owner's manual is a great, um, great resource for that. All right, the next thing, right, your tires. We do live in Florida. We have a pretty extensive rainy season that's going to start pretty soon. Um, so your, are your tires good? Do they have good tread on them? Right, that's one of the most important things for um, keeping your vehicle stable on the road is having good tires and making sure they are in good shape and they have proper air pressure. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look in my car. And so one of the things I like to do in terms of vehicle maintenance is I actually have a, a binder for every one of my vehicles. So I have my vehicle registration, I have my insurance card on the back, and um, everything, um, everything for my vehicle is actually in this binder. Um, I have all my warranty information, the information for my purchase the vehicle. But then what I did is I actually printed out the service manual for my vehicle and I purchased it used. So I started at the 30,000 mile service. And so when I got that done, I had the dealership check it off. They put their stamp on it. I have the paperwork for the service and so everything I've done to this vehicle um, I replaced the air filters I wrote down the mileage where I replaced them I put the paperwork there some other things that I've done um, I bought crossbars for my vehicle so I put that in there the mileage where they're put on the crossbar instruction manual so pretty much everything I've ever done to this vehicle um, in terms of maintenance and accessories I put on it all goes in the same binder. I put it in a hole puncher and I keep it right here in my car. So this is my vehicle maintenance. The other thing you should be familiar with with your car is your owner's manual. So if you don't have an owner's manual for your vehicle, you can uh, generally find a PDF online, print it out, you could put it in a binder, or you could just call, uh, call whatever the vehicle manufacturer was, and they will usually mail you one for free. Um, if you have not read the owner's manual of your car from front to back, I definitely recommend you do that. You'll actually probably learn some neat things about your car, um, if you have any issues with your car, anything like that. So definitely read your owner's manual from front to back. All right, so once we've started with that, let's just take a quick walk around. We'll go to around each side of my car and we'll talk about what I have. All right, so the driver's side of my vehicle. First thing I wanna talk about is your car keys. Um, do you have a spare key for your car and do you know where it is? If you go on a road trip, do you bring that spare key with you? Because if you lose your key or it becomes damaged and you're a thousand miles from home and your spare key is in your drawer in your kitchen, it's not going to do you any good. So either have a spare key and definitely know where the spare key is and don't forget to take it with you on any kind of road trips. So the other thing uh, in the front front of my car here, I do have a USB charger. I have my cell phone charger, so I can always charge my cell phone when I'm in my car. Um, I've got my hand sanitizer because we're living in the new world now. And over in my side pocket, I have 
my everyday mask that I wear when I go out. I have a pair of gloves, either if it gets cold or I have to do something where my hands are gonna get dirty or if I have to change a tire or any kind of thing where I would need a pair of work gloves, I keep that here. Let's take a look at what I have in my center console here. So up top, I just have some, uh, some baby wipes in case you ever need those. Um, I think this was actually designed for a small box of tissues, but I've never found tissues that actually fit in there, so I just stuck these baby wipes in here. In here, I have a spare glasses case, and I have some wipes to keep my glasses clean. I have a couple of bandanas in here. They're good for extra masks or first aid or wiping up spills or whatever you may need a bandana for. Super handy. Um, I have a hat in here. This is actually my wife's hat. We go places all the time and her number one complaint is I should have brought a hat. So I bought her a hat and she likes purple. And so we keep this in the car. A couple of things in here. I do have a headlamp style flashlight this is great if you have to change your tires in, at night and so you can put this on your head and you have a hands-free light some other things i just have a couple of small screwdrivers in here a lighter in case i need it some change in this little cup one of the things i mentioned in my last video is i actually wanted to find a usb chargeable flashlight uh, i was at home depot i actually found this when i wasn't even looking for it the other day and so it lights up you could do a strobe the other neat thing is you can charge this by usb but it also has the ability if you need to you could plug your cell phone into it and charge your cell phone from this flashlight so i thought that was actually pretty neat uh, I usually keep a couple of dollars and some quarters in my car. I have a compass, just in case. I have a pair of scissors. These have come in handy a surprising number of times. I don't even know where they came from. I just found them and I thought they were small and they would go good in the car. I have a tire pressure checker. You don't know how to use these right get one they're usually a dollar or two check it out it helps maintain your tire pressure in your car um, i have some pencils and pens because i'm a teacher so i'm always using that stuff the other thing i mentioned to you guys i am big in sustainability and so definitely not going out to eat as much but whenever i go out to eat uh, i don't like to use plastic utensils so i have my own set of utensils that i keep in the car with me uh, going a little bit deeper, I have a power inverter here, so I can actually plug this into my cigarette lighter in my car, and I can power USB items or um, things with a regular household plug. This actually comes in handy when we're on road trips and we still have to do some work on the road. So I have this. In here I have um, a couple of different wires. I have an extra, uh, an extra charger. I have a couple of zip ties, smaller zip ties in here. And I have a variety of different fuses. So I keep that in here. So in case I blow a fuse in my car, I have those available. A couple of different types of tools in here. These are uh, some Allen keys and some wrenches. Um, this one is actually from my motorcycle, but I saved it in my car similar kind of thing um, some different wrenches some different um, screwdrivers and allen keys i have a pair of pliers and an adjustable wrench and so that's everything i have in my center console there all right i've got uh, got my bobble head up here so let's go back around to the passenger side All right, so my glove box. So I'm gonna have the owner's manual. I have my stack of Chipotle napkins. So that is the world's greatest source of free napkins is Chipotle. I have a couple of receipts in here. I have a dog food coupon. So if you ever uh, 
it's a practical life tip if you're ever um buying food for your pets go online the manufacturer will usually have a coupon on their website um, i have an emergency blanket here i have a uh, first aid kit so in my last video i did mention that um when these when i use these i'll either throw them in the kitchen or i'll do something else with them uh, this one's gone on quite a few adventures. The bag's actually got a hole in it, so it's not really waterproof anymore. So this one I actually stuffed full of some sanitary hand wipes, some band-aids, and some Tylenol and things like that because most of our adventures are going to just require, you know, a simple band-aid, some Neosporin, and sometimes some painkillers. And so that's my first aid kit that I keep in the dash here so this one's got all those common things that I need um, without having to dig into a big first aid kit couple of things here um, if you have locking rims on your car right do you know where the tool is to actually take those rims off right so know where that is it's a great idea to keep that in your dash um, my rims actually have a rim hubcap on them that uses um, this size Allen key to get them off, so I keep that there. And I have a lock on my trailer hitch, and so I have the keys for the trailer hitch there. So that's what I keep in the dash. And again, because I have a family and a wife, every now and then we get these Bed Bath & Beyond coupons, and they live in the dash. Um, over here in the side passenger door, my wife has a link roller and an umbrella. So just some practical handy things. All right, if we go to the back seat of the car here. Wait for the, wait for the motorcycle to go by. Um, again, I've got this binder here with all my paperwork in it for my car. I have a roll of paper towels here. Um, in the uh, in the back door here, I actually have an extra quart of oil for my car, and I just have some glass wipes. And so um, these don't do sort of a job as a paper towel and Windex, but <clears throat> they are handy for maybe scrubbing love bugs off the windshield of your car, um, or if your kids or your pets make a mess on one of your windows. Under the back seat here, I just have a fanny pack in case I need to carry some stuff. I actually carry a toolkit, so I've got a whole set of sockets and wrenches under here. And let's take a quick look at the back passenger side of my car here. A couple of things that I carry here. So this is my stepson rides back here, so he's got his mask here in case we need it. And uh, I just carry a... Uh, a hatchet slash hammer in the back of my car just in case I need it for um, either hammering something or if we go camping where I've got something to chop wood with I just keep that back here and then if we open up the back of my car I've got a couple of things in here I'll point out and then I'll probably actually pause the camera while I untie some of it um, but over here on the side, I've got a couple of things, right? I've got a more extensive first aid kit. This is actually from my old Volkswagen, but I've actually restocked a lot of the stuff in it. I have a lock, just in case I ever need to lock something. I take my bike with me a lot of places. So if I have to lock my bike up, I always have a lock in the key for it. Um, this is actually to get pet hair out of your car. Uh, I forgot it was in there. Uh, I have just a, uh, a towel if I have to wipe something off the side of my car or I could use it for wiping things up. I do a lot of things with my dog. So this is actually a pet water bowl. So my dogs always have some water. And because I am a responsible dog owner, I carry some plastic bags to pick up pet waste. Other things I keep back in here, just some wipes for the seat of my car and the uh, the vinyl parts of my car. So I've got that over there. Let's see if I can get this out. 
this is actually a emergency battery pack here this will actually jump start your car if you need it to or you could jump start somebody else's car it has the jumper cables in here this is the battery pack here whenever uh, whenever I clean my car I actually charge this um, it's usually holds a charge for about six months and um, you could power USB devices with it it has a flashlight um, and I was actually kind of skeptical when I bought it that this would jump start a car but a friend of mine had a dead car battery and it uh, it actually worked better than jumper cable so it started his car pretty instantly and it actually barely took any power away from the battery so I was really surprised at that all right in this bag here I actually just have a um, a fleece blanket that we carry in the car we use it on road trips my wife actually really likes it when we're um, going on long trips I just have an extra reusable bag here if I need to carry anything so that's that side pocket let's take a look over here at this pocket here so this is what I call my kind of my tire repair kit section so in this bag here I have the paperwork for the jack for my vehicle Let's dump it all out I have two tire repair kits just in case they're two different styles um, I have, I've used another tire repair kit, so I've actually saved some of these plugs in a Ziploc bag, so I have some extras if I need it. I have a small can of WD-40. This is the handle for my jack. I have an air compressor in here if I ever need it. And I have a can of fix a flat I have a jack that is able to actually lift my vehicle off of the ground here. Um, I do carry um, some wood blocks that are way back in the side of my car that I put under the jack because my vehicle is lifted up so I did need to add a little extra height to this jack to safely lift my vehicle up where I could change the tires. And I'm not going to dig them all out but I do have um, jumper cables up here just in case that battery pack doesn't work. All right, other things I have back here. This is my field trip bag. I went over everything in my field trip bag in one of the other videos, so it's just extra stuff. But when we're uh, teaching on a normal schedule, I pretty much have, um, you know, one or two field trips every week, so that just lives in my car. So first aid kit, multi-tool, extra clothing. Um, what else do I have in there? I've got some Ziploc bags. I have bug spray. I have sunscreen. Um, just all the stuff that was in my first aid or my my field trip bag all that stuff is in there I have an extra roll of paper towels And so I'm gonna pause the video here I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll take a look at these other two items Okay, welcome back. So a um, couple of things I put put my stuff away that I had, had dug out a second ago um, the other thing I didn't show you guys is that um, these items in the back of my car, I do have them all strapped down. Everything, um, all that stuff is securely jammed in there. Uh, this is just my water bottle here. Um, but everything is everything is secure. So if I was to be in an accident, um, all this stuff is secure. So none of it is going to turn into any kind of projectile inside the cap. So it is is all secured down. Um, I just took took this off while we were waiting. Um, the other thing that I had meant to show you guys is um, your spare tire. So a lot of times if you have a, a truck or a SUV, um, sometimes a minivan, your spare tire is under the vehicle here. And if you don't know how to get this down, you may climb under the vehicle and see this contraption here and you may start spinning it and you're like how do I get the spare tire off my vehicle so again you should read the owner's manual but in the toolkit that comes with your vehicle um, there is 
um, usually the arm for the jack that comes with the vehicle will have a piece and there's probably a hole somewhere in your vehicle that looks like this around the back and you will put your jack extension right in that hole and you will spin it and it will lower your tire down to the ground for you. I, I um, have just this right here. I actually have mine. I could put it on a socket, but you put it in there and you spin your ratchet around and it will lower the vehicle down. And I actually just keep this piece right underneath the floor mat of my vehicle. So let's take a look. I always carry a small cooler in my car. This is the, uh, the knockoff Yeti brand, but it works just fine for me. So in my car, I always carry some bottled water. Uh, I usually have some uh, individual bottles. When my parents are snowbirds, they were leaving town and my mom gave me a bunch of stuff and she gave me this case of water. So I have that in here. I also have a gallon jug. I don't recommend leaving water in your car in plastic for long periods of time because the water will uh, actually pick up uh, phthalates from the plastic, um, which are not good for you to drink, but in a uh, situation where you're uh, dying of thirst, it's definitely better than, uh, definitely better to just drink the water than to, uh, to actually die. Um, other things that this water is good for, it could be if your vehicle's overheating, you can actually have enough water to add to your radiator. Um, I take my pets out. Again, I bring water with them, but in an emergency, um, I've got some water for my pets. Um, or you could use it for washing your hands, washing out cuts. Um, if you go to the beach and you need to wash off. Um, so I always carry some water in my car, usually about two gallons. Other super handy thing about having a cooler in your car is if you're out we do live in florida it gets hot if you're going grocery shopping and you've got to go somewhere else after um, you can put the cold stuff in the cooler maybe buy a bag of ice it'll keep that cold stuff cool for you all right comes my neighbor on his motorcycle All right, one of the things I always carry in my car, um, I was in college one time and I had a flat tire and I had to, I tried to change the flat tire and the uh, toolkit that came with the car. Um, the, the wrench right here was actually just spinning on the lug nut because it was made out of such cheap metal and I had to call AAA to have them change my tire. And the guy that they sent out actually made fun of me for not being able to change a tire. And I was like, I know how to change a tire. I just can't get it off because this thing. So ever since then, uh, the next thing I did, <clears throat> I went out and I bought this. And so this has been in every vehicle uh, besides my motorcycles that I've owned since I was in college in about 2002. So I carry this with me all the time. It's a lot, lot easier to change your, to loosen your lug nuts on your tire with this than the kit that comes with your car. Some other things I carry. There. This is actually just a camping mat. Um, it's great for camping, an extra layer of padding. Um, if we go to the beach, we can put it down on the beach. If I have to change a tire and I have to get down on the ground or something like that, um, I have this. The other thing, this is actually just a uh, fold up uh, chair for sitting on the ground or if you go to a stadium or something like that. So I always keep that in the car. Um, actually, my wife uses it a lot more than I do. The other thing that this is actually pretty nice is I do go on a lot of field trips and I am kind of wet and soggy and muddy sometimes. So I'll actually put this on my seat if I forgot to uh, bring a towel with me. All right, so inside of this tote, let's put it up here. A couple of things that I have. All right, so I have a couple of these freeze dried meals. And again, you know, it's important to have the water in the cooler because these are no good if you don't have any water. One of the things is that, you know, these usually have an ex expiration date of a couple of years. Um, but if you're keeping them in your car and your car is reaching temperatures of upwards of 100 degrees in the summer, um, these are going to expire a lot faster. Um, so if you, you buy things like these, I would recommend you kind of use them regularly. So if you go camping or 
you want to have like a fun backyard meal or something with your kids um i recommend you know these will probably expire in about a year if you're keeping them in your car as opposed to the several year actual expiration date all right so other things right i have um this is actually a miniature um miniature cook set so i can actually cook on this um and there's there's some extra cups and things inside in there this is actually a roll of duct tape inside the roll of duct tape i actually have some large zip ties coiled up in there i keep it in a plastic bag so it doesn't uh, get other stuff sticky if it gets super hot in the car extra roll of paper towels do have a couple of extra pairs of gloves these have just kind of been tossed in here over the years I have just an old pair of sneakers I carry in a bag in case I need some extra shoes in here these are all my tie down straps so if I have to uh, tie anything to the roof um, or ratchet anything um, to the car I have a variety of tie down straps and bungee cords in here just a safety thing if I am ever on the side of the road changing a tire I do have some of these fluorescent vests because again we do live in Florida and we have excessively bad drivers here that love to run people over on the side of the road so I have some of those Right here, I actually have a folding shovel just in case. All right, so in here, just I generally have some. Let's see, I have a poncho. I have a life straw. Some assorted toiletries. I have some contact solution, some face wash, shampoo, sunscreen, um, insect repellent, some Q-tips, bug spray. And I actually have a deck of cards because, again, in in a survival situation, right, here's the deck of cards here, um, in a survival situation, keeping yourself entertained is a big thing of um, keeping your mental state pretty sound. Um, they actually uh, do have some decks of cards that have survival tips, different types of edible plants, different types of knots on them. So there are a variety of different types of decks of cards that are actually pretty useful in survival situations. Um, I threw these in here. These are actually a waterproof deck of cards that I've used for camping for a long time. So they're in there. I have an extra dog bowl, collapsible dog bowl here. It's, it's uh, just another multi-tool here. I have some dish soap just in case, right? I could use my water to wash my hands with this dish soap. In here, I actually have an emergency stove. I have some candles in here. Um, in the emergency stove, there are some fuel pellets. They are inside of here. There's three of them, and I have a lighter. So again, in an emergency situation, I've got my stove. I've got my set to boil water, cook some food in it. I have my water in the cooler, and I have my emergency food. So I have all that. Um, in here I call this, this is a, my shelter bag. So a couple of things I keep in here. I keep some rope in here. I keep some tent stakes in here. I have a blue tarp, could be used for a variety of things. And inside here I have two things. One, this is actually a survival tent. It's large enough for two people. It doesn't have any tent poles or anything. So that's why the, uh, the pegs and the rope are super important. Um, the other thing I keep way back there, I don't know if you can see it tucked in there, but that's actually a trekking pole. I use that on a field trips, especially if we're going in the water. Um, I can use it as um, extra support, but that trekking pole um, could be one of the poles for this tent. Um, if I had a second one in there, I could easily use that or stick or I could tie it to a tree or whatever. The other thing, this is a 
emergency bivy sack so it's pretty much just a glorified emergency blanket um, but what i could do with this is you could actually get inside of it um, or if you're in your sleeping bag and it's you know raining outside you can put your whole sleeping bag inside of this or this can actually just add an extra layer of warmth to your sleeping bag um, if it's a little bit too cold the last things i have in here i just have a couple of extra hats i've collected these over the years they're just tossed in here and all right so in here i just have an emergency blanket so another one of these stuck in there and then the last thing i have in this bag uh in here i have a real thin fleece sleeping bag i have uh two jackets one of the jackets is just a fleece jacket the other one is my old ski jacket where um you could take the shell and use it as a rain jacket and there is also a fleece liner so you could actually wear it as a cold weather jacket as well um, i have some extra socks an extra shirt a pair of shorts an extra pair of pants um, and just an extra towel and so so basically this is just you know some extra emergency clothes um, not stuff that i'm gonna wear doing anything professional um, but if i was out my you know clothes were to get wet or muddy or destroyed um, i always have an extra outfit in here and some extra things um, for whoever is going to be in the car with me so that's everything that i carry in my vehicle this is just my everyday stuff pretty much i try and be prepared for anything i'm going to encounter in my daily life um but aside from that this is all the stuff that i've tore out for you guys so aside from that um whenever i do go on a road trip i do carry some extra supplies with me um i do carry if i go camping again i've got a whole other set of things that i bring with me when i go camping um, I could actually, one of the things that I like to do is if it's just my wife and I going camping, um, I did build a camping platform for the back of this vehicle so I could actually take the back seats out and it all lays flat. We'll move some of the stuff to the sides and the roof. I actually have a trailer hitch extender here where we could actually put some things on the back if we need to for, you know, either camping or road trips or traveling. All right, now that I've got everything pulled out of the back of my car, the last thing I want to show you guys is just, uh, right, this is my floor mat. I have a nice floor mat, so if something does spill in here, um, it's not going to get into the carpet of the back seat of the car. Um, but under the floor mat, I keep just a couple of things. Um, this is a road atlas of what that sticker is from. Uh, but a road atlas of the United States. So this has all the major the major cities and um, major highways and roads in the United States so don't use it a whole lot because we have our GPS on our phone and things like that but in an emergency we have it or if we're in an unfamiliar place um, doesn't take up much space if you've got a nice flat spot for it so I stick it under here again I've got that trekking pole in the back I, and then this is my uh, my emergency knife that I keep back here, um, just in case I need it. It's under the floor mat, and this is for lowering my spare tire. Okay, so here's everything. I've, I've uh, put it all back together. I've repacked everything, and I would say the, um, the more times you pack and repack um, your car supplies, I think every time you do it, it gets a little bit better, and so you can see it's not not exactly how i had it before but i think it's actually a little bit more organized and a little bit more secure so again real quick tour right so this was uh right for changing the tire i've got a mat i've got a seat i've got all the supplies that were in here i've got a cooler i've got some extra water in the cooler these are my field trip supplies here there's that extra blanket there's some paper towels um, this is all my tire repair stuff the extra jumper cables this is the battery pack for jump starting a vehicle uh, charging your cell phones has a flashlight on it just a lock i've got a first aid kit back here some car cleaning supplies behind that i've got some supplies for uh for my dogs and then right underneath i had the road atlas i had the uh, piece for lower on my spare tire and i had the emergency knife back up there so this is uh concludes the tour of my car um two things that i think that I should probably have in my car that I don't um, are a fire extinguisher and some road flares. Um, I think those are the two big things that I'm missing from my vehicle. 
Um, one other thing that I want to say about, you know, keeping stuff in your vehicle, um, it's important to keep things out of sight and make sure nothing really flashy is visible um, because, you know, we do have issues with vehicle theft. The other thing about th keeping things in your vehicle, right, again, we live in Florida. Um, the inside of our vehicles gets pretty hot, especially in the summertime, and so that heat really deteriorates things. And so I would say anything that you keep in your vehicle, um, expect that it's eventually just going to wear out because of the heat. So I don't keep any really high quality items in my vehicle, just in the event that, you know, if they were to either get stolen um, or just the heat is going to really get to those items. So just some things to keep in mind. One more thing I want to mention is that, you know, hurricane season is coming up and we all know how difficult it is to get gas during hurricane season. So it's not a bad idea if you have a way to safely do it, keep five gallons of gas in your garage um, during the summer and pretty much at all times, but if you only if you can safely do so. Uh, make sure you have a proper storage container. Make sure you have a proper place to keep it. Don't keep it inside your apartment. Don't keep it in the trunk of your vehicle. Um, make sure it's stored safely and appropriately. Um, but during hurricane season, right, as soon as there is a hurricane, everybody goes and buys gas and they all fill up all their gas cans and it's impossible to get gas. Sometimes we, uh, we don't even have a major hurricane. Everybody goes and buys all the gas and then you have to drive around one evening trying to find gas to just go to work the next time. So if you always have five gallons of gas on hand, you're not going to be stuck in that situation. If you have to leave town quickly um, or during a hurricane, again, you don't know if you're going to find gas on the road. So having some extra gas and just, you know, some extra gas cans on hand is going to be helpful. And if a five gallon container is actually too heavy for you to lift up, right, buy yourself two, two and a half gallon containers and they'll work <clears throat> just as well. Uh, the other thing with storing gasoline, you don't want to make sure, the other thing with storing gasoline is you want to make sure that you're using this gasoline regularly. So it shouldn't stay in your garage for more than a couple of weeks at a time. So fill these gas cans up when your car gets low, put them in, and then next time go to the gas station, you fill them back up. And so you're continuously using the gas you have stored so you don't have any gas that's more than, you know, three or four weeks old at a time. This is my wife's car. I've got her car pretty much set up similar to mine uh, with not quite as much stuff. Um, but I've got a variety of things that I think she may need or I may need stashed in a couple of the uh, cubbies inside of her car. It's actually pretty funny. We'll be out doing something and she'll be like, oh, you know, we need this. And I will pull it out of somewhere. And she's like, where did that come from? And I was like, it was in your car. And she's like, how did it get there? Um, so I actually put it there just in case uh, we ever needed it when we were in her vehicle. Okay, so maybe you don't own a vehicle. Maybe this is your primary mode of transportation and that's totally acceptable, right? When we saw in our readings from World War Z how dependent they became on bicycles in that post-apocalyptic future. So the same things apply when we have our bicycles in terms of maintenance, right? Are your, are your shifters working properly? Do you know how to adjust them? Do you know how to maintain them? Same thing with the brakes on your bicycle, right? Do you know how to work them? Are they working properly? Is everything properly maintained? Um, are you oiling your bike? Things like that. Do your tires have treads on them? Do you know how to change uh, change a tire if you have to? Are your bike tires properly inflated, right? So these are these are all things that are super important if you have a bike. I would say a bike is a great piece of survival equipment that could be used in an emergency situation right again we have hurricanes here in florida sometimes gasoline is hard to come by and so if you're out of gas and you need to you know go to the grocery store or something like that um, a bicycle is right an important tool is going to help you get there all right um just my uh my bike bag i've got laid out here um right 
super important piece of bicycle equipment is a properly fitting helmet, right? One thing a lot of people don't know about bicycle helmets is that if you actually fall on your helmet and it takes a uh, pretty good crash, it's time to retire that helmet um, and get a new one. Right here, this is just a bicycle bag. Um, I actually bought this bag at Goodwill. I got it for a dollar. It actually came with a uh, free granola bar and a free fruit roll, which uh, I um, promptly threw away. Um, in my bag, I actually have the hydration pack, which I could store water in, and just some simple things that I carry in my bike bag when I go for bike rides. I have a, a bike pump. I have a bike tool. It can help adjust pretty much everything on the bike. I could also remove a link from my chain if my chain was to break with this. I have this wrench because this is the size wrench that it takes to tighten the pedals on my bike, which I learned the hard way one time. And so I always carry this in my bike bag. I have a tire pressure gauge. This pressure gauge will um, it's actually pretty small and so I keep it in my bike it works for my bike I have a patch repair kit uh, one of the things I usually carry and I, I don't have it is I carry a spare tube for my bike because it's a lot easier to just change out the tube than to try and use this uh, while you're on the bike trail um, but my son just had a flat tire in his bike and destroyed the tube and so we just used mine and I have to order a new one um, I usually carry some cliff bars, but I don't keep them in the garage. Um, but I do have this energy shot that was in my bag. I carry some paper towels just because I've got a roll of chapstick. And again, I have one of these waterproof first aid kits that I carry in my bicycle bag. And so if your bicycle is your primary mode of transportation, that's totally fine. Just, you know, again, Right? What do you carry with you on your bicycle to make sure that you're safe and prepared for whatever you may encounter?